Hello everyone, welcome to PS3 tutorial for beginner. In this tutorial, I'm going to show you how we can use for loop in PHP. So what is for loop? Let's say you want to print something multiple times, let's say 10 times or 100 times. So in that case, you can use for loop. Let me just show you an example. Let's say here echo and we're going to print here hello. And let's just add a line break here. So right now, if we save this and if we refresh here, here you can see hello. Now let's say I want to print this hello five times. So for it, what I need to do is that I need to copy this and paste it five times. So let me just give a segment here. Let me just copy this and I'm going to paste it here five times on two, three, four and five. If we now save and refresh, there you go. Now what if I want to print this hundred times? So do I like copy and paste it hundred times? that doesn't make any sense so in that case we can use for loop so in order to write for loop we need to set here for then do first bracket then do second bracket like this and inside this two second bracket we're going to say echo hello so right now inside this two first bracket we need to say that how many times we want to print this so in order to do that first of all we need to declare a variable let's say dollar i equal to zero then we need to give a semicolon. After that, we need to say how many times we want to print this. So we we'll say here i smaller than 5. And right now, we need to increase the value of i. So we we'll say here i plus plus. And we need to give dollar sign before each i. So right now, let me just explain. So here, at the beginning, the value of i is 0. And we are giving a condition that i must be smaller than 5. And here we are saying i plus plus. It means increase the value of i by on. i plus plus means basically i plus on. So we normally write i plus plus like this. So at the beginning the value of i is 0. Then the value of i will become 2 over here. After that it will eventually become 3, 4. And when the value of i become 5 equal to or is greater than 5 so it will in the for loop so this way it will print this hello 5 times if we now refresh here here you can see we have hello 5 times if we say here i smaller than 10 then save this then refresh here it will print hello 10 times and here you can see we give i equal to 0 normally when we code we normally start from 0 if you say here i equal to on then the condition will be i is greater than uh, equal to 10. So the value of i will start from on and in that 10 and the value of i cannot be greater than 10. If we now refresh, we will see the same result. So right now let me just show you the value of i. So in that case, I can just say here dollar i here. If we now save this and refresh here, there you can see we are able to see the value of i. If we give here 0, then save it. Okay, let me just bring the equal sign. Save it. Refresh. There you can see the value of i started from 0 and ended at 9. Because we say here i must be smaller than 10. Now we can do this in a different way. Instead of incrementing the value of i, we can also decrement the value of i. For that case, let's say here i equal to 10. And then here the condition will be i is greater than 0 and it will be i minus minus. So our loop will start from tail and end it at on because we say it here i is greater than 0. If you now re save then refresh there you can see it started from 10 and it ended at on. If we just say here i equal to 10 and it will give a equal sign there. Let's say i equal to on we will get the basically same output refresh here there you go but if we say here i is greater than equal to zero then we will also get one more hello and that will be for zero if we now refresh and there you go so for loop is really useful in php it is something very basic that you must know so i hope you have complete understanding about for loop if you still have any question or if you want to suggest me anything just comment below I will check the comment, make sure to subscribe and I hope to see you in the future tutorials.